Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter number 27, and uh, we're going to look at verse number 1. The Bible says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. It's funny because uh, we just talked about not worrying about tomorrow, right? Not stressing over tomorrow. But now the Bible's teaching us here in Proverbs 27, 1, that we are not to boast of tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> you know, the biggest takeaway from this, from this verse, the, the biggest lesson is um, it's not that we shouldn't think about tomorrow and we shouldn't plan for tomorrow because uh, there are plenty of Bible verses and biblical principles about investing and investment and being wise with what God has given you um, and, and properly planning, uh, you know, all those things. Um, you know, so, so that's, that's, that's just, you know, wisdom to do that. And it's not, so th this verse is not telling us to just um, neglect tomorrow, but it's saying don't boast about tomorrow. And the only reason why anybody would boast about tomorrow is because they've forgotten about God or they chose not to include God in their thoughts. That's really the only reason why. Because if we walk with God and we understand the grace and the mercy that has been extended to us, uh, by the Lord Jesus Christ, and we understand that every day is a gift, right? And Jesus even tells the story in the New Testament about the man who um, just wanted to hoard things. You know, he was just collecting, collecting, he was becoming wealthier and wealthier, and he had more stuff, and, and as he had more stuff, he ran out of space to store his stuff. So he said, tomorrow, I'm going to build even bigger barns and, and bigger houses and storehouses so that I can, I can get even more stuff. And then God said, thou fool, this day is thy soul required of thee. So God is saying, you know, you, you're, you're boasting about what you're going to do tomorrow, how much richer you're going to be tomorrow, but you're not even going to live to see tomorrow. You're, you're going to take your last breath tonight. And that's, you know, that story that Jesus told is really what's, what's tied to this verse. Boast not thyself of tomorrow for it. Thou knowest not. What a day may bring bring forth. But who you know who does know? God knows. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring forth, but the Lord knows, which is why we need to lean on Him and, and not our own plans, not our own strength, not our own works, uh, but but the grace and the mercy of God. We need to, to depend on that. Um, and always consider him in our thoughts and in our plans, uh, you know, and, and because, again, the only reason why anybody would brag about what they're going to do tomorrow is somebody who either doesn't realize or doesn't appreciate that today was a gift and tomorrow is not guaranteed, uh, you know, and it is a gift from God. And tomorrow is a gift that we may receive of the Lord or we may not, uh, you know, so, so there is no reason to boast, but there's always reason to praise the Lord, and there's always reason to, to be thankful, to be grateful, and as Christians especially, we must never lose sight of that, you know, every single day, we ought to stop and thank the Lord, uh, literally every morning when I wake up, I thank God that I got to wake up. Do you do that? If not, I highly suggest that you do. I think every Christian ought to do that. Thank the Lord for every single day that you have because every day is a gift and every day is an opportunity to love God back because he loved us first. It's an opportunity and to show the love of God to others. And so there is no reason to boast, but so many reasons to be thankful. Primarily, the Lord Jesus Christ 
and his grace and his mercy upon us. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.